Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a new profile and copy the old contents from your old profile to this new profile. Now there is a few problems here because most people when they go to do it find out that their uh, profile part which they want to copy across is greyed out. I'll show you what I mean. So first off, let's go to the start or the all button. Go to a control panel here and then we're going to open up uh, user accounts. Now you may have yours set to a different type okay and you just need to go onto user accounts whatever way you've got it set so I've got mine set this way and I'm going to click on user accounts here okay so let me uh, just have a look at the uh, configure advanced user profile properties now when you click on this this allows us to cr uh, copy our profile across now, as you can see it's all greyed out and this is the one that I want to copy across to my new account and it won't let me do anything. Now let me do the default account but it's not the account that I want. I want to be able to copy this 1.18 gigabytes of stuff across to a new account. So how do we get around it? Well first off what I'm going to do is manage my other accounts and as you can see this is the account I want to keep. So I'm going to create a new account. I'm going to make it administrator and I'm going to call this, say for argument's sake, test. You can call yours whatever you like really. So I'm just going to call that test and create that account. And there we have it. Okay, so now we've got that. The first thing I want to do is log off. Let that log off. And now you can see the test account which I've created. Now you need to log on to actually create the desktop and all the files and folders and the user account so it's ready to, to actually copy the stuff across. Then now we have our test account with nothing in it. It's just a plain clean new profile. Okay, so now we've got that created. Let's log off again and go back to our normal account. Okay, so if we go to my computer and in the C drive and in users we should see our new test account now okay so now that's been created this is our test account and this is all the stuff we want to copy this all across okay okay so let's go back to control panel user accounts and then what we want to do here is a little application that we can use called Windows Enabler. It's been around for quite a while and it's quite a useful little tool. So what we need to do here is right click on this and run this as administrator. Now this will work for Windows XP, Vista and Windows 7. So you just need to run this like so. And we should see a little icon down here. Let me just drag that into the area so you can see it. Okay. So there we have the actual icon. Now what you need to do here is double click on this and this now will say on. Now once we go back to our control panel and now we're going to go into configure advanced users and profiles. Once we go in here we should now see a copy to come up. There we go. So as you can see it's now come up whereas before it didn't and this is because this little tool is ena enabling us to be able to do this now. So cool little tool and it's going to get you out of trouble. So what we want to do is now copy all this content. I'm going to browse to my new location that I want all the stuff to go to and this is the account I want it to go into, test. Click OK. Say yes. And let all that good content come across to your new account. So just let that happen. Okay, so that should have now 
of copied all across now you may get a not responding at some point up the top here don't worry about that it is doing it you'll hear it going across let's close this off okay and then we're going to click OK here now we've finished with this now so what we can do here now is double click on this and turn it off and that will go back to the way it uh, was before so what we want to do here now is come up to my computer C drive and then users and then go into our test location and if you see all my stuff that I had on my desktop is now in my new account so let's try and log on to that account and see how it goes so I'm going to log off go into the test account and there you go it's copied everything across and we should have a nice new profile all up and running and you can just get rid of that now the purpose for this is maybe you've had malware on the system and it's knackered up the profile or the actual account and you want to create a new one and this is the way to go about it and it's really simple and easy I will put all the links in the description for the actual uh, application so I hope this you enjoy these videos my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button show support also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more videos like this again in the future. So keep on watching and I'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.